Welcome back to Just In Time. Who is that? We'll find out. Just In Time. It's time for Justin. Alright. So, does it go back to me playing or you? Yep. Okay. <laughs> you did not hesitate at all. I can't. You literally... I've played one level besides the worst one that I hate. Yep. Uh, where am I going? Okay, hi. Hello. We're going for gross... What's their right, name? So, now? I'm trying to think, should I do the boss level for... I should end with the boss level. Yeah. Apparently, like, the, the music from that level, Jacques... Is actually on uh, Stuart Copeland's like album of just his best works. Oh really? So that's like the only one you can get on a disc form of Spyro music. Huh. That is the only Spyro song you can get, like at least on an officially made disc. I wonder if there's a record of that because I would love to just have that song. That'd be amazing. Not even my favorite, but like it's, it's Spyro. Yeah. Uh, we were talking about records earlier because we we're trying to come up with a logo for the channel. And I was saying that 3D art is sweet, and I really love the Sonata Arctica early album covers because they all are like really like cool looking. I don't know, they're so, like they're like early 2000s 3D like computer art, but like it's just something so cool about it. So what we're saying is, if any of you do 3D modeling, haha, please, we will pay you in publicity to. <laughs> in addition to, I think money. Maybe? I realize I gotta kinda of jump the gun I, I don't know if you actually want to do I, I will reach deep into my pockets, pull out some lint, and pay then you. not pay you that, because that's all I have. Okay. <laughs> oh. Let's do some valuable lint. This guy's a loser. There he goes, yeah. Um, did I ever tell you about with this level? Um, I didn't remember this game actually being real. Or this level being real. Oh. I, I thought... Like, in the back of my mind, I remembered having a dream one time where it, it was this level. Huh. But, to my mind, like, whenever I would think of this this level, like, in my mind, it was just a dream that I had. It wasn't a real Spyro level. But then, later in my life, when I actually got the whole game Spyro 1, like, and played it all together with myself without my brother playing along and my sister as well, like, where I had my own save file and we played it, and I played it through by myself. Yeah. I got to this level, and I had one of the most, like, not, like, out of experience just no but like out of like like, like out of my own sanity yeah. I, I could not believe that this was actually a real level i was freaking out i'm like did my brain like, get, get like downloaded onto this disc it's so weird how the brain weird. works yeah there, there was a guy i was watching who streams and he was talking about he's like this is gonna sound weird but last night i had a dream where it was frame, the game never runs this this level right sorry it's just <laughs> his name is literally his name is literally Mudada. like Dio. Well, sorry, is, is that a yes? Is that a JoJo reference? Maybe. Okay, but anyway, I was saying he was like saying in his stream. I think it was Vine Sauce. He's like, I had a dream last night where I heard like a new Beatles song. He's like, it's it's not a real song. I heard it was like. He's like, I would know. It's a completely, like, it was a completely, like, new Beatles song that my brain just, like, came up with. And I'm like, that's really weird. Wait, like, in a dream here? Yeah. Like, in a, he had a dream about a non-existent Beatles song, but, like, he heard the song in his dream. But it's not a real Beatles song. Cool. It was, like, a hypothetical, like, Beatles song. But, like, song. it sounded like it would have been. Yeah, it was, like, it sounded like a real Beatles song. That's great. Like, a, like, it, like, it was, like, unreleased or something, but it was, like, not even real. It'd be kind of cool if, like, okay, I really just... <laughs> Ouch. Um, wow, my nostrils. Haha. Uh -huh. Um, I said it'd be cool if, like, you told the Beatles, or like he, he told the Beatles that he had a dream like yeah. that, and kind of just like describe the general rhythm if he could remember it. But That's then, like, like <laughs> they ended up like just like, okay, just make a song based on that, and they're like, yeah, okay, well, and then it ended up being exactly the same as his dream. That would, I, I think. Um, he said that was the unfortunate thing. He's like, I can't even, like, hum it. You'll just have to take my word for it. I, that makes sense. I wish we could, like, fully remember dreams. If we like, wanted. as if they were recorded. Yeah. I mean, they say you, you can, like, remember it best if you, like, write it down right after you wake up. That's true. But I'm not even in the right mindset for, like, an hour. <laughs> and to, like, also, be I able to hold a pencil. Yeah, and also, I don't have pen and paper right next to my bed. Yeah. I feel like I should, though. I usually can't remember my dreams I have when I wake up, or 
big spiders. Those are, those are the two complete extremes of the spectrum. That's all I have as far as dreams go. It's either I, I like, don't... I mean, I know you're technically... You do dream, but, like, you just don't remember it sometimes. Yeah. It's either that, where it's like I didn't even have one, or I'm woken up in the middle of the night, big spider dream. Just big bugs, disgusting, big, oh. disgusting spiders. Out. And I don't know why. You're saying you woke up and, like, there's a big spider by you. Oh, no. Because <laughs> I, I sleep in a basement, so that's not necessarily going to count. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why those are the only two I'll have. I'm trying to figure out why I'll have the big spider dreams. Yeah. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Big spider dreams. Big spider. Uh, spider! Punch him! Spider big? Spider big. Does whatever... Spider big. <laughs> I like that you're questioning that and not does whatever. <laughs> yeah, I was... I thought you, okay, oh, for some reason I thought you said spider big by accident because we were talking about big spiders, yeah. and the reason you paused was because you were, like, about to laugh because you, like, misspoke, and that's why you stopped. Oh. But you literally were just saying spider big. Also, this part, this this part always reminds me of in the, the hub, the first hub world for Spyro 2. Yeah. There's a section almost exactly like this, but you have to jump over a bridge that's broken. Yeah. Remember, it's that big round area, and that's, like, one of the first areas where mm -hmm. Hunter, like, tells you what to do. I really like this level. It's very, like, dreamlike. And, I mean, I know that's funny to say <laughs> after yeah. your story, but, like, it is. it's yeah, very, like, otherworldly. that's why. It, it seems so much like a dream. I like the music, too. There's something about... <clears throat> well, I guess this is the dream world. The dream weavers, uh, yeah. pubs that would make sense. We were saying also words. I was sorry. just saying something about... I, I do play, like, a couple instruments, but I, I don't consider myself, like, great. And especially not as far as, like, music theory goes. But, like... It's just something about how he like his is the key he'll he'll do these songs in. Yeah. It's well, something about the piano, like that phrase that it keeps playing or whatever. It's like what's well, like even in very uh, unique sounding. The the reason I just I decided to look up like if he made the music in Good Burger was because a lot of the background music just happened to sound a lot like the level from Stone Hill. Or yeah, I think it's Stone Hill. And and I was like, it just sounds really familiar. Like, even the instruments sounded exactly the same. And I was like, well, time period-wise, it would make sense. And then I looked it up and just Stuart Copeland. And I was like, yep, yeah, there we go. There you go. Stuart Copeland, good burger. I like that assortment of gems. There's like four. That's like, you know what's funny like too. It, it's really always awesome when you have a hunch about something like that and you're right. Yeah. Like I was watching Jurassic Park and there's the kid that he scares at the beginning. Yeah. In the first one. Where, like, the kid's like, Wait, uh, 12 foot tall, uh, turkey? Uh, or whatever he says about a turkey. Well, all right, then. And then he starts, like, like scaring the kid or whatever. Because he was being, like, a punk. Yeah. I was like, why does this kid look familiar? What could I have possibly seen him from? And I'm like, you know what? He looks a lot like the kid in the music video for Lay It Down by Rat. And I'm like, there is no way. And I looked it up and it was totally true. <laughs> it was him. He was just like six years younger. I'm like, holy crap! I, feel like I think those were the only two things he's ever been. Oh, I feel like there's something else I looked up like one time like that before, and I could never. Also, I love this section right here. Uh, I have to glide down and like oh, yeah. get them all at the same time. See so if we can do this in one. Ah, no, we can't. We we will absolutely not. <laughs> I, I actually Animus. love this section for a different reason because it's incredibly frustrating. Oh. <laughs> no, this is nothing compared to that lo last level. Yeah. I still can't even believe you made me do that. <laughs> actually, I realized I would have to go down here anyway because there's stuff. That's the fastest I've ever beaten that one level, though. It's good. Like, honestly, I could, t I could tell. I know I had to go to that yeah. one platform. And I could tell the moment you just figured out that they had to do that. Because I, I finally had the thought, I'm like, I haven't used the speed boost like for anything. Yeah. So. Oh, Spiro, 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 priorities. <coughs> hmm. Dragon to save or gems? Gems. <laughs> <laughs> you see me? Ah, oh, Spiro, thanks. Supercharge will get you to new places here in Lofty Castle 2. Spyro and I used to... Or, <laughs> Spyro and I, Austin and I, we used to play this game 
Oh, uh, we'd always <laughs> we'd always replay that beginning part. He's like, ah, spiral of thanks. <laughs> ah, spiral of thanks. It's just weird. He probably seems like a dice guy, but I feel like this one was really obvious as to where you're supposed to go. It looks fun. Yeah, though. it is. Wish we play this level. <laughs> Nope. Wish, I wish I had played this one instead. <laughs> you can play Jacques, which by the way is worse. Oh, yeah, that, no, I, that I level think I'm is good. awful. That is actually difficulty there. We might be stuck actually now that I think about it, we'll be stuck on that for a while. Where you is like there good. another? Oh, there, I have to supercharge one, that's right. Uh, where is it? Will we find out next time? On oh. a fecal matter toilet. That's good. Made out of toilet. That's good.